This is the time when we move on and discard the old labels of leave and remain. In fact, the very, the very words seem tired to me as I speak, but as defunct as big enders and little enders, or, or Montagues and Capulets at the end of the play. Now is the, now is the, time, to act, now is the time to act together as one reinvigorated nation, one united kingdom. If we have learned anything from the experience of the last three years, is it, it is that drift and dither means more acrimony and anguish, Mr Speaker, and there will be nothing more dangerous for the new future that we want to build than allowing the permanent possibility of extending, I think I'm coming to the point that honourable members wish to discuss, extending the implementation period in a torture we all remember, that came to resemble Lucy snatching away Charlie Brown's football, or, or, or Prometheus, Prometheus chained to the Tartarian crag, his liver pepped out by an eagle and then growing back, as honourable members on all sides of the House will recall, and then growing back only to be pepped out again in the cycle repeated forever. This bill learns the emphatic lesson of the last Parliament, unlike members opposite, and rejects any further delay. It ensures that we depart from the EU on the 31st of January, and at that point Brexit will be done. It will be over. The sorry story of the last three and a half years will be at an end, and we will be able to move forward, Mr Speaker, together. The Bill ensures that the implementation period must end on the 31st of December next year with no possibility of an extension, and it paves the way for a new agreement on our future relationship with our European neighbours based on an ambitious free trade agreement, with no alignment, now I went, with no alignment on EU rules, but instead control of our own laws and close and friendly relations, Mr Speaker. This vision of the United Kingdom's independence, a vision that inspires so many, is now, if this Parliament, this new Parliament, allows only hours from our grasp. The oven is on, so to speak. It is set at gas mask four. We can have it, we can have it done by lunchtime or late lunch. And we must now no, wait, and we must now begin building our future relationship with the EU. Our aim is to provide a close friendship between sovereign equals, to promote our common interests, inspired by pride in our European heritage and civilisation. And Clause 3 of the Political Declaration invokes that spirit, establishing, and I quote, the parameters of an ambitious, broad, deep and flexible partnership, rooted in our shared history and ideals, and standing together against threats to rights and values from without or within. I am absolutely determined that this great project will not be the project of one government or one party, but of the British nation as a whole. So Parliament, so Parliament, as I have said, will be kept fully informed about the progress of these negotiations. And we should be, no, and we should be fortified by a renewed sense, by a renewed sense of confidence that while our democratic... I think I've given away quite a few times, Mr Speaker. Come on. I mean, all and, 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 also, and, the, and, and the policy of the Liberal Democrats is now to have, an, and now to have another referendum. They've abandoned revolt. They now want another referendum. So I think I, when they've work, they worked their policy out, I'll give away. Uh, we, should be fort, we should be fortified... We should be fortified... We should be fortified by a renewed... Fortified by a renewed... <laughs> We should be fortified by a renewed sense of confidence that while our democratic institutions have been tested as never before, if this House comes together now to support this Bill, as I hope it will, history will, will, history will record that the first act of this new Parliament in its earliest days was to break the ice flows and find a new way through, a new passage through to unsuspected oceans of opportunity. And so now is the moment to come together and write a new and